Newly released images have revealed the clearest look yet at China's J-35 stealth fighter positioned directly on the deck of the country's newest aircraft carrier, the Fujian. This is a major milestone because it is the first time the navalized J-35 has been publicly seen in such close association with the Fujian, a carrier specifically designed to project China's air power into blue waters far from its shores. Unlike earlier prototypes, the jets in these images appear to be production standard models prepared for carrier trials. They are painted in low visibility gray, equipped with folding wings, and fitted with carrier-specific features such as tail hooks and strengthened landing gear. While no serial numbers are visible, their very presence on the Fujian strongly suggests that the People's Liberation Army Navy is accelerating its effort to integrate stealth aviation into carrier operations. The Fujian, Type 003, represents a technological leap for China. At over 80,000 tons displacement, it is the largest warship ever built by the country and the first Chinese carrier equipped with an electromagnetic catapult launch system. This system allows fighters to launch with greater fuel and weapons loads compared to the ski jump ramps of earlier Chinese carriers, the Liaoning and Shandong. The Fujian makes China only the second nation in the world, after the United States, to deploy an electromagnetic catapult launch system technology matching the capability of America's USS Gerald R. Ford class. The strategic importance of pairing Fujian with the J-35 cannot be overstated. The United States Navy operates the F-35C, a stealth aircraft specifically designed for carrier operations. With the J-35 now visibly tied to the Fujian, China signals that it is closing the gap in this domain. For Beijing, this combination means the PLA Navy could soon deploy stealth fighters capable of penetrating contested airspace, conducting reconnaissance, and supporting maritime strike missions, all launched from a modern carrier far beyond China's immediate coastline. At a regional level, this advancement complicates the security calculus for neighboring countries and for the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command. A carrier air wing of stealth fighters, supported by an electromagnetic catapult launch system, would give China the ability to contest air superiority around Taiwan, project power into the South China Sea, and potentially operate into the Western Pacific. Numbers matter here as well. While China's carrier program is still in its early stages compared to the U.S. Navy's decades of experience, each step forward represents a narrowing of the gap. It is important to remember that new technology comes with challenges. Operating a Katabar carrier and maintaining stealth aircraft at sea requires extensive training, complex logistics, and reliable maintenance cycles. The U.S. Navy has spent decades refining this skill set. China will still need years of trial and error before the Fujian and the J-35 achieve true combat readiness. Still, the symbolism of these images is powerful. For the first time, China's next-generation stealth fighters are not just concepts or land-based prototypes. They are on the deck of the country's most advanced aircraft carrier. It is a clear signal that China's ambitions for a modern, global blue-water navy are becoming a reality.